The protection graphic assistant will be explained in this application video. It may be used to visualize the zone reach in the single line diagram or to create a short circuit sweep plot of internal relay variables, such as impedances or directional angles. To execute the example please activate the study case protection in the project overview. We concentrate in this video on the northeast zone of the grid. Here, each line is protected by two distance relays. To see the relay configuration we may access one cubicle and select the device. The relays are configured with three forward zones. Now, if we want to look at the zone reaches we could either open a time distance plot or we could use the graphic assistant to color the single line diagram according to the impedance reach. Open the protection graphic assistant in the protection and arc flash analysis toolbar. For now we want to create a reach coloring and have to select the devices for which the coloring is displayed. Let us choose two relays from the zone northeast. Under the page Reach Coloring, Brush Style and Color can be selected. In order to distinguish between the two relays, we choose different brush styles and reduce the width factor. The red color marks Zone 1. As can be seen clearly, the first zone reaches about 85% of the first line. The second and third zone in blue and olive green show the kilometric reach. Let us now calculate a single phase to ground fault at the end of line NWNEL1. According to the reach coloring, the relay is set to trip in the second zone, but due to some network effect it trips in 1.2 seconds. Now we are going to examine this effect which causes the relay to trip on its first protected line after the delay of the directional starter. For this purpose we use the protection graphic assistant again to create a short circuit sweep plot of the reactants seen by the relay. First we need to define a protection path where the short circuit sweep is going to be executed. Just select start and end node, then create a new path. Go to the protection graphic assistant again and select create short circuit sweep diagrams. We select the relay we want to examine. Under the page SC sweep diagrams the path has to be selected and also the internal variables to be displayed. Since we calculate a single phase to ground fault, the loop selection is set to phase earth. For every polarizing block of the relay, a diagram is displayed. But we can delete this one. In the remaining diagram, the calculated phase earth reactance is shown. Let us have a look at the reactants for phase A and add the threshold of Z2. Normally we would expect a linear rise of the reactants along the line. The reason for the displayed behavior lies in the coupling of the lines. If we take a look into the line definition, we see that there is a coupling defined which causes the reactants, in the case of a single phase fault, to rise exponentially. Let's deactivate the parallel line and repeat the calculation using the protection graphic assistant. The reactance is now rising linearly with the line length. One possible solution for this problem could be a mutual CT located on the parallel line to compensate for the relays under reaching. 